With the launch of Warzone Mobile, some people are enjoying the game, but a lot of people are facing lag due to their device, which is probably the reason why you're here. And that is why in this video, we're having a look at 7 ways to reduce lag in Warzone Mobile and have a smoother gameplay on low-end devices. Number 1 is to use the proper graphic settings inside of the game, which can have a pretty big impact on how well your game runs. Go to your graphic settings and set the visual quality to minimum, the performance optimization to frame rate, and the FPS to uncapped. Using these settings will put less pressure on your device and give you a smoother gameplay when you're playing Warzone Mobile, so you need to change your graphic settings. Now, it is true that the graphics are gonna get worse, but hey, it's always good to sacrifice graphics for a smoother gameplay. Now, the next thing you wanna do to fix your lag is changing your FOV, also known as your field of view. Now, if you played other mobile games, you might know that field of view means how much of the map you can see on your screen, and using a higher field of view is great for playing aggressive, but it also means your device has to render more of the map. And that is why if you have a low-end device, then it's always a good idea to keep your field of view low in order to increase the performance. Now, what I recommend doing is setting your field of view to 60 if you have a low-end device and you're noticing that you're facing lag in Warzone Mobile. This way, your device doesn't have to render all those extra part of the map, giving you a smoother gameplay. Now, after you're done changing your FOV, you need to delete the unnecessary maps that you're not using. To do this, you need to click on the settings icon on the upper right-hand side of the screen, and then you need to find the tab that says Downloads. So basically, in this tab, you're gonna find all the content of Warzone Mobile that you've downloaded, including common assets, maps, and language. And from here, you wanna delete all the unnecessary things that you're not using inside of the game because it does take a lot of space. And not only do you have to delete these maps, you also need to make sure to delete other stuff on your phone, like old photos and apps in order to save space. You see, you need to have at least 4 to 6 gigs of free space on your phone in order to run this game properly. And I know a lot of you are still stuck with phones that have 64 gigs of storage, but try to have at least 4 to 6 gigs free. The next thing you want to do to fix lag in Warzone Mobile is use a booster app. The best booster app that I found that fixes lag and connection issues is this one right here. I'll leave the link to this app in the description for you to download and it basically fixes your lag by boosting your game. It even fixes your ping by connecting you to a better server, which means you're not gonna lag even if you have a bad connection. Now, I've used this app on my Galaxy Galaxy S9, which by the way is a 6 year old phone and from what I can tell it does a quite a nice job fixing the lag. It works on pretty much all low end devices and again the link is going to be in the description so try it out by clicking the link. And besides using a booster app you also need to make sure that your phone has enough battery before you start playing Warzone Mobile. You see when your battery is low your phone is going to start to reduce your performance in order to increase the battery life of your phone and because your performance reduces when your battery is low Warzone Mobile is going to start to lag and give you a bad playing experience. And that is why you need to make sure that your phone has at least 80% battery when you start playing playing Warzone Mobile. This is especially true if you have a low-end device. You want to make sure that your phone has enough battery before you start playing. And it's important to make sure that your device is ready to run Warzone Mobile. To make your device ready to run Warzone Mobile, the first thing you can do is close all the apps that you have running on the background. This is going to free up more space on your RAM for Warzone Mobile to run more smoothly. And also if you use a case on your phone, then it's a very good idea to take it off when you're playing Warzone Mobile because it causes your phone to heat up. And when you remove your case, your phone can more efficiently reduce the temperature, causing your gameplay to be more smoother. And if you play on Wi-Fi, then try turning on airplane mode to further reduce the background activities of your phone. Doing all these things are going to make your device ready to run Warzone Mobile and provide you a smoother gameplay. If you followed everything I said in this video, then you should see a significant improvement on your lag. Again, make sure to download the booster app from the description because it does make a pretty big difference. With that being said, make sure to check out some pro tips and tricks for beginners in Warzone Mobile. These tips are going to help you get better at the game and improve your skills. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next Warzone Mobile video. Peace out.